I'm the storm you've just thrown into the ocean. How many storms have you thrown? Hi, we're Zena and Barnaby, and we're going to sail from the Galapagos to the Marquesas on our 40 foot, on our 40 foot, um... <laughs> the passage from the Galapagos to the Marquesas is about 3,000 nautical miles. We have just left, as you can see in the background, so hopefully it's going to take about 23 days from now. Hopefully in time for our 10th birthday. Today is day three of our Pacific crossing. The winds are picked up, we're flying the Jenicat. As you can see, it's that big, huge one over there. And we're doing about seven knots of speed with about 10 to 15 knots of wind. These are deck harnesses and we wear them whenever the sea is rough at all when we go out on deck or at night. Today is day four of our Pacific crossing. The winds are light and yesterday's total was 113 nautical miles. Up here we store our fruit and vegetables uh, to keep them aired so they don't get so moldy. And we have more over here and if we come in here we have our squawks, watermelon. And out here we have even more fruit. We were doing school earlier and it went pretty well and we are able to do school because we've got Starlink which is Starlink is our satellite internet provider that is produced by SpaceX. Here is the dish. It allows us to connect to the internet in remote places such as 415 nautical miles offshore. Before Starlink, uh, we had a we had to go into local towns to buy SIM cards, which are normally data capped. Today, uh, there's been a lot of rain, so we caught a load of water, and uh, uh, Mum and Dad had a shower on deck. We also went for a swim because the wind had almost completely died, and the, the um, seas were red. night we sailed with some uh, Chinese fishing vessel which are catching squids illegally off the around this area because this is their hot spots and we have seen it we last night we saw 35 visible vessels at once hi boys are you doing school yeah. how's it going Meanwhile out here, it is wet and we have no wind. Oh, it's all over the place. But it's good, it means we fill up with water. So this is how we collect water. So I've got one full container there. And this bucket is almost full. This yeah. It's about 60, 70 litres. Impressive. Oh, but it's hard to not lose any because of the motion of the boat. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about how we steer the boat and if we steer the boat all the time. This is our hydrovane or probably most used steering system and it, it keeps a course to the wind so that we keep our sails full and we control it from here. So if, if I pull this, then we turn to starboard. And if our main steering fails, which would be the big rudder or the autopilot, then we can use the hydrovane and we can just steer it normally. Moving on to our autopilot, another way of steering the boat. This one does use electricity. This here, that is our control panel. Um, it has, it is hydraulic electric and
and it's connected to our main rudder. So like Barnaby was saying, if our main rudder to fail, this would be completely useless. Today is day 10 of our Pacific Ocean crossing and last night we saw a sailing vessel called Dolphin Street. All the way in the distance there, you can just see on the horizon, that's Dolphin Street. They're about two and a half miles behind us now and we're about to pull them up on the radio. Say hello. Hello Dolphin Street, this is Mauser. Either their radio is broken or the volume's off. Or the volume's off. Or they don't know how to work it. Or they don't know how to work it. Should we just call them up on channel 16 and ask them to change channels? Dolphin Street, Dolphin Street, Dolphin Street. This is sailing vessel Mauser. Come in. Where do you come from? Over. We are coming from uh, Panama. Hi. Ah, that, that's good. Um, how long has it taken you to get here so far? Uh, the line is much better now. <laughs> I can hear very well. Uh, it took me uh, 22 days so far to get here. Over. I started my journey from France uh, four months ago. I am uh, sitting solo. I am alone on board. Over. Solo. Oh wow, that is very impressive. No wonder you're tired. Um, I hope we didn't wake you up. Um, well, good luck. If you if you need anything, um, uh, please um, get on the radio and give us a call. Over. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Have a good, uh, have a good, have a good fair week. Over. And to you too. Au revoir. A bientôt. Merci. Au revoir. Today we are the furthest away from land that we have ever been. We are at the halfway point as well in terms of miles from the Galapagos to the Marquesas. Us, we have been averaging about 140 miles a day. We, our shortest day was 104, which was terrible, but we were doing like four knots. And what was our longest, biggest day? Uh, 117. Uh, nautical miles. Today is day 12. We've got about 1,300 nautical miles to go and about 9 to 10 days. Today we're going to be talking you through the fact that we're not alone out here and there are a lot of vessels nearby. So we have a daily WhatsApp group and so we can communicate and get daily positions and quizzes which are very fun. And we also try to, I try to keep in contact with Cinnamon and Mars Away, some of our two closest friends on this whole journey around the world. As you can see, we've got a boat out there, which is about two to three nautical miles away. So probably three miles, three miles away. And that is our second, second boat we have seen so far, second sailing boat we have seen so far on this passage. This morning we called up a, another sailing boat, a very big one, 80 foot, a catamaran with six kids aboard and we had a chat with them. And as we were doing so, we, they had a helicopter overhead offering them some tuna. Today's day 14 of our crossing. Today the weather has been very changing and the wind has been anywhere from 27 to 5 knots. The, today the swell has been rocking us around a lot and when it does that we lose the wind of the sails and that just makes it a million times worse because we're going slowly so that just makes the motion a lot worse than it needs to be and we're still averaging about 150 miles a day and we've got around 1015 miles to go a lot of people ask what we do at night on these big passages today Zena will explain that so uh, as a lot of people you ask, we don't just anchor at night because it's 4,000 metres deep here and we can't anchor in that. 
Uh, so instead, we sail the boat at night and pe our parents do three hours on and three hours off and then sleep during their off time. Uh, we've got about 587 miles to go and we've got uh, the weather forecasting is saying that we've got a wind drop about two days ahead of us and that could mean that we are not going to arrive in five days from now like we first thought we were. Today Barnaby's going to take you through our power. So our power inputs are three solar panels, one on that side, two here and we have two more up on the boonie or canvas or whatever you want to call it. We have a wind generator back there and together that those are mostly what inputs our power off but sometimes um, we have to run the engine because it just gets it because uh, the solar panel on, on cloudy days or when the or today like when the sails uh, are blocking the solar panels. It also doesn't help that we've got loads of instruments on so we've got uh, the navigation equipment on, radios and things like that. Today's day 18, we've got about three days to go until we reach the Marquesas! Um, at the moment we've got just under 400, sorry just over 400 nautical miles to go and everything's looking good. So every night on passages, oh well on passages, we always eat up here as the sun's going down and tonight it is a very Day 19, our journey from the Galapagos Islands to the Marquesas in French Polynesia. We've got 230 miles to go and we're calmed. Currently making about half a knot, sometimes in the right direction. It's going to be a long journey. Yesterday the wind died completely to four knots so we can't sail anymore and we're drifting. That's a good thing for today because it means we can go for a swim. 4,000 meters, meters deep here so Geronimo. How is it? The hull is very, very dirty. You're very dirty. Oh wow. Holy moly! The hole needs cleaning! Seriously, come in and have a look at the hut. Okay, come in and have a look at the hut. nautical moles made good in the last 24 hours as we've been drifting a lot and we have been moving very very slowly so we've only got uh, 220 nautical miles to go so we hope to do that we hope to arrive in a couple of days today Zena will explain what an average school day looks like so an average school day normally looks like diary which we do every day, times tables, which we use a website for, maths, CGP, English book and comprehension, uh, sometimes a Raspberry Pi project, then we do French, Duolingo and Michael Thomas, then we do science, which is Laura and that's pretty much it. Today is day 22 and we've only got 12 hours to go so we're going to arrive tomorrow morning. 
I can't wait to get there and it's going to be amazing. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our destination, the Marquesas, in the South Pacific. They are 15 islands with a population of 10,000. We're going to land at Fatahiva, the smallest island, which with population has a population of 611. The main, langu the main languages are Marquesian and French, and that's good because we've been learning French recently. I don't, can't wait to get there. Today is day 23, uh, as you can see we've arrived, it's really beautiful here. We arrived first thing this morning and we had breakfast with our friend Yebo, then we came ashore and it's just amazing. I mean, like, Name, but since then it's been changed. 